Night. Glad you could join us. Todd Callis, Jeff Blum, Julia Morales, and we're underway with a first pitch up to Jose Altuve. Altuve hits it sharply, but he hits it right at the shortstop. And Corey Seager makes the play for the first out of the game. Down goes Jordan on strikes. First strikeout for Gray, second out of the inning. On the schedule, seven times in ten days. The Astros and the Rangers go head-to-head. -head. Kyle Tucker has the first hit of the game. It's a pitch into right field for a base hit. Tuck didn't have a lot of success regular season this year. This ball hit hard to right field. That'll be down for a hit. So Alex Bregman and Kyle Tucker with a couple of two-out hits. That's the damage that was done last night by the Rangers, all coming with two outs. Ground ball that's going to stay fair, backhanded. And a long throw by Josh Smith in time to get Yonar Diaz. Now do it for in the second start of the season. Marcus Simeon had a great start to this series last night. Simeon didn't even play the whole game with a 1-1 count. Also had a birthday and welcomed in a new baby girl all in the span of about 48 hours this week. This ball sent into right field as Kyle but that's tough to do when he's ready to swing immediately. Hits one the other way. JP will win this battle against the guy he considers his toughest nemesis as he gets a ground ball to Bregman. In between Corey Seager and Adolis Garcia. This guy out of University of Florida can hit. And he just hits one into left field for their first base hit. Series. Swing and a miss. Good job by J.P. France as he slaps the glove as he strikes out Adolis Garcia. Portion of the season. And he goes after that pitch and misses. John Gray has his second strikeout of the game. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Gray getting McCormick and Abreu. And that's three strikeouts in the game. In the air, left field, fairly shallow. Seager will go out, and he will get called off finally by Evan Carter for the final out of the inning. JP's role was huge last year for the Astros. This ball hit well to right field. Back goes Tucker, still going back, and he will watch it go off the top of the wall, right off the yellow line. Carter thought it was a home run. Tucker played it back in as if it hit the yellow line. Back in as if it were a double. It looks like it may have hit that rail. Yeah, hit the railing. Oh, you think it's out? I thought, it hit, sure. I thought it hit the yellow I line. It just stayed on the yellow line. Yeah, I think it's going to stay as a double. The outfield. I mean, Larry could tell me a lot of things. I might buy it. <laughs> it does seem like the ball is carrying here. There's a big strikeout for JP, keeping the runner at second base as he gets the deepest part of the ballpark. This ball hit over the head of Jose Abreu into right field. That'll score a run. RBI single for Jonah Heim. The Rangers on the board first, as they were last night. It's 1 0. Little tapper. That's going to be trouble if it stays fair, and it will. It'll die right there on the synthetic turf here at T Mobile at Globe Life Field. A little pop up, shallow left. JP, Jeremy Pena, will make the play and helps out JP France with the second out. High pop up into left field, playable for Chaz McCormick. He ambles towards the line, and that'll do it for the Rangers in the second. On national TV last night, a home run to right field as he hits this ball to right field, but not quite as deep as Adoles Garcia makes the play right on the edge of the warning track. And he hooks this one into left field, and Altuve has a nine-game hitting streak. The longest hitting streak to start a season of his career. Altuve with his 12th hit of the year. Remarkable company to be in for the big man. Down on the count here, and Altuve on a close play at first base is called safe, and Jared Walsh says you may want to check that to make sure. We got a couple of peaks at it, a little bit of a late break, and looks like that tag might have gotten on there just a split second before that hand gets in there. Texas is challenging the safe call at first base. Upon review, the call on the field is overturned. Runner is out. Texas returns the call. I mean, 
and he's on yeah, pace. He's right, he's right there. And that's part of what makes him so good is he does not leave the zone. Those are tough pitches to take. Tucker hits one down the line. That'll be fair in the corner. Jordan on the move. He'll head to third. Adolis Garcia gets the ball back in quickly. The Astros have runners on second and third with two outs. That's going to be a four-pitch walk. Not even close. None close in that at bat. So Bregman will load him up put it down with two outs. And Yiner hits it right at the shortstop. Seeger, he bobbles. He's going to have to go to first. His throw is wide. One run scored. Here comes another run. Astros take the lead on a double mistake by Corey Seeger. Seeger bobbled the initial. In, trying to get him inside with a fastball, and Chaz took it off the plate. Third walk. It'll pop up beyond first. The second baseman, Simeon. The first baseman, Walsh. It'll be Walsh who puts it away for the final out. Big part of that finished runner-up in the AL MVP. And JP tried to catch the outside edge. Ball four. Ranks at 21 years old, 22 years old. In the air to left field, McCormick moves back on it, has room, he'll put it away. Corey Seager retreats to first base, one out in the third. In the air, right field, playable. Kyle Tucker moved to his left, now he goes back a few steps, puts it away. That'll be out number two. Got him. France picks up a strikeout of the young outfielder Evan Carter to end the inning. Astro third inning 71 overall as he starts the fourth. Jeremy Payne goes after the first one and pops it up. It'll be Simeon right in front of Corey Seager who bumps into him. <laughs> not sure if that was intentional or not. It looked like Myers on the ground played to his left by Josh Smith. He'll make the play for out number two. There's a line drive, base hit, Altuve two for three on the night. Both hits to left field, he'll be a two-out base runner, and as he reaches first base. Series any less impressive to get? No, he was the hottest hitter in baseball at that point, and he hits the first pitch from Brock Burke into right field for his single. So Jordan Alvarez greets the new lefty with a first pitch base hit, the Astros. Alvarez will be off with his pitch, 3-2 to Tucker. And he skies it to left field, playable for the Rangers left fielder Evan Carter. He comes in towards the line, and that'll do it for the... A reminder from your friends at Silver Eagle Distributors, Houston. This ball wafted into left field, falling quickly. It'll be down for a hit. Jared Walsh has a leadoff single here in the fourth inning for the Rangers. Uh, again. Got him. Called third strike. Jonah Heim goes down on three pitches, the last one looking. He'd be safe by a mile. Up the middle line drive caught by Pena. Walsh was not far off the bag, so he gets back with a diving slide. Tavares shoots one to the left. That'll be down for a hit. It's going to be a race now. McCormick needs to get it out in that corner. They're going to wave around Jared Walsh. Here comes the throw by Pena. He's got a shot, but it hits the runner. The throw hits the runner. That'll tie the game at two. The Rangers tie it up, and now a big chopper that Alex Bregman will glove on one big hop to get Marcus Simeon to end the inning. But the Rangers have tied it on a two for his sixth different team in the last five seasons. As he goes down on strikes, as Bregman out for the first time tonight. He last year with the White Sox for five starts, and now the Rangers. Yiner Diaz hits it hard, but he hits it at the left fielder Carter, who makes a jumping catch. Yiner Diaz tagged it. Chaz draws his second walk of the night. He'll be a two-out base runner here in the fifth inning. A lot of innings to Bochi out of that pen. As Abreu pops it high in the air, second baseman Marcus Simeon will put it away for the final out of the inning. A walk, one man left. Go to at Space City HN and tell us who you think that Astro is. First pitch is queued up the middle. Corey Seager didn't hit a lot of it. He spun one between Altuve and Pena into center field. For a base game and against the New York Yankees. Now Wyatt Langford hits this ball to right field. Back goes Tucker, still moving back, makes the play as he secures it in front of the warning track for the first out. A couple of first pitch swings here. This ball popped high in the air. 
Chaz McCormick will move in. He'll call off Jake Myers, and that's the second out. Adolis has been held to an 0 for 3 so far tonight. Carter with a 3-1 count. There's a line drive base hit. That'll go to the wall in right. Seeger on the move, but Tucker gets to it quickly to get it back in. That'll hold up Seeger at third base. So the Rangers with him. He is playing first base every day with Nathaniel Lowe on the aisle. Grounds this one to Altuve. Two big hops for Jose. And J.P. France works around a couple of hits here in the fifth inning. We're going to have new faces to their bullpen. This one towards the middle, and that'll be Seeger, the shortstop, moving to his left. Pena retired for the first out here. Yates strikes out Jake Myers for the second out. And now Tuve down on three pitches. Good inning for Kirby Yates. One, two, three inning with a couple of strikeouts. On and on. It's great. Poor Joe wasn't even there. <laughs> There's a ground ball. <laughs> Hall of Famer getting no love from his fellow coaching staff. <laughs> Tough lead here, man. <laughs> Does lose him here after coming back in that count. That'll be a walk allowed by G. Ground ball. Abreu will make the throw to second. They make the tag there. Payne wasn't sure if Abreu stepped on the base or if he threw it. He's off and racing, and the pitch is wide. The throw by Yiner is on the money safe. Tuve couldn't quite come down with the tag. It was a close play, but Tavares, who's the throw. Mm. That one gets away past Yiner Diaz, and that'll advance the runner to third. Yiner only allowed eight wild pitches. In the left field, that'll be dying quickly and in front of Chaz McCormick for an RBI base hit. Rangers take a 3-2 to two lead. Marcus Simeon drives in a run his ninth of the year. So I always tried to anticipate the runner going. It's ball four. That'll put runners at first and second now. Got him. Abreu blows fuel past the young right hand. Line drive caught at the top of the webbing of Corey Seager's glove as he made a jump. Tucker goes after the first one and sends this one to left field. Playable for Evan Carter. That's the second out of the inning. Into shallow right field. Fly ball to Adolis Garcia. And that'll do it for the Astros. Robertson with... Has done so much damage against the Astros over the last five games. Sends this one to center field. Back on it goes Myers. He'll have room. And Jake catches it about 400 feet from home plate for out number one. And Walsh in the fourth. And an RBI single by Marcus Sk Simeon scoring Leody Tavares in the sixth. This ball sent to Jake Myers. And that'll be two quick outs. From that one's inside. Montero allows a two-out walk to Jared Walsh. 3-2 pitch coming to Jonah Heim. In the left field, Chaz McCormick back now comes in, and that'll do it for the Rangers. In the but you see that number across the bottom, 10 games against the Astros, a 6.94 ERA. Seager makes this play to his backhand, getting Yiner Diaz to trouble early and has not found the strike zone consistently. This ball grounded to short. Seager's there again. Two outs. Does inherit an 0-2 count here facing Jose Abreu, and that'll do it for the Astros in the eighth inning. Abreu goes down on strike. Leclerc throws one pitch. The last time Leclerc tried to get a four-out save here in Arlington against the Astros, it did not go. Jordan Hicks on there. Three guys over, averaging over 100 miles an hour. Yodi Tavares on base again. He's been on base with the fielder's choices last time and scored. There goes the runner. The pitch is swung on in line over the head of Jeremy Pena. Tavares is going to go first to third. If Pena catches that line drive, it's an inning-ending double play. It was just beyond his. And there is hit number 12. That'll be an RBI base hit. Corey Seager drives in a run. It's now a 4-2. to two. Texas lead here in the bottom of the eighth. 
In the air, pretty well hit. Right field, Tucker back, still going back over his head. It one hops off the wall. Simeon will score. Seeger holds up at third. It's now a 5-2 lead. Wyatt Lankford, an RBI double the other way. That one skips away, and that'll score another run. Seeger will cross the plate on the wild pitch. So a 3-2 game has turned into a 6-2 with a 2-2 count. And there's another base hit into right field. Tough night for Presley as he has given up five consecutive hits and the Rangers have scored four runs in the inning and now lead this game 7-2. New pitcher for the Astros here in the eighth inning is Evan Carter greets Taylor Scott with another base hit. That is six consecutive base hits for the Rangers in this bottom half of the eighth inning. Carter's third hit of the night. Back down to where it should be. Down goes Walsh on strikes. Taylor Scott picks up a strikeout for the second out of the inning. No, but this could be the first time yeah. since 16 that the Astros are five games under if they don't have a huge comeback in the ninth inning. The four-run inning ends. Nice job. By Pena fouling off some two-strike pitches puts this one in play. Adolis Garcia near the line will make the catch. What a way in the ninth. So kind of a interesting thing that has happened to the Astros. Singleton as a pinch hitter will ground one to second. That'll be the second out. The Astros down. Towards the line. Fair ball. It's a three-hit night for Altuve. How does he do it? <laughs> Another one where he just reaches out and hooks one. Pass the third baseman, Josh Smith. Altuve with three. The Astros seven hits. There's a smash past Marcus Simeon into right field. Gary Pettis will hold up the runner here. Jordan with a single. Well, he's on base for the third time tonight. Tonight he has rebound that strike zone. Until there, that one skips away. Jordan will advance, so that'll be a wild pitch. Altuve. Play like that. Here's the one-two. In the air, left field. Chases Carter back, but he's got room, and this one is over. The